Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So what I see here is that something of value was lost. Um, something possibly didn't get off the ground. It could also be that uh, someone was misinformed here. This could be, there could be like a big misunderstanding. I feel that news uh, was received in some way, uh, whether that was visual or whether you heard something uh, that I feel like it was not as it appeared. I feel that whatever was seen or heard, there was uh, missing information or something was false about the information. Um, this had to do with somebody leading the other astray, somebody wearing a false face. Um, I feel that it wasn't what it appeared to be. Um, but uh, it feels like someone uh, may have lost control of their emotions or had uh, some very deep repressed emotions uh, from maybe previous uh, relationships that made them suddenly become afraid. Uh, that made them react badly, possible. You see, we have the secret card here. Now, it could simply be that somebody, uh, somebody ghosted the other or is just avoiding the other because of the way that they're behaving or acting because with the moon, uh, people can act out of character or act strangely and so the partner may feel like let's say you're accusing them of cheating they would feel uh, or be wondering at this behavior because they know they didn't do anything wrong so they would be wondering I you know where is this coming from <clears throat> Um, so who, whomever is, uh, in the energy of feeling they've been betrayed, um, we see that they lie in the four of swords energy. They have felt, we have both the three and the four and the four, of course, uh, follows the three. So they've been hurt by, uh, whatever they believe has happened and are trying to heal from it and are actually re-evaluating the situation and the information uh, that they received or uh, evaluating the entire situation, uh, the secret even. Okay, or what they presumed was a secret. They could be wondering, uh, with this card crossing it, um, they could be wondering if the information was correct. I mean, their challenge here could be to get the facts to get the truth, to look at the truth, and don't presume. Don't presume you have all the facts here. This could be the message for whomever this is. And because I don't feel that you do, we have the imagination over here. We have the moon at the root of it all. So at the root of it all, something appeared to be what it was not. 
This was some news that you received. The fool's in the reverse. So you thought you were led astray. You have the, uh, the false halo up here. So you, for some reason, thought that somebody was just pretending uh, to have feelings for you when they didn't. This is what you believe, but it's not true. But a piece of information that came to you somehow made you believe this. And possibly because of previous disappointments that you've experienced in your life, you automatically presumed um, that, that this is what, what was going on. So now uh, you're very focused on what you've lost if this is you who has attacked the other you are very, very focused on what you've lost and you are reflecting on it and uh, wondering, I feel, at what the truth really is here because it's like looking back and maybe uh, maybe you, you could possibly be blaming yourself for this breakup or separation at this point when you're looking back. Because and we have this card here of uh, it's called the abortion card, but it it's about uh, a sacrifice. It's about feeling powerless. It's about uh, self deception. It's about somebody who made a bad choice and doesn't know how to get out of the situation they've created now because of it. Um, and or they don't know how to get back what they've lost because of it. This can be a card of uh, clinging to hope. Somebody has made a disappearing act, most likely uh, is not currently or has not been responding to the messages, any messages you've been sending. Uh, or is avoiding you because uh, it's like they've been falsely accused. Um, you were acting out of the norm. Um, you could have been untalkable uh, with the Knight of Swords here. Uh, things were said here. He'd have said things without thinking. So you may have said words, if, if this was you, you may have said words that you regret that uh, there were consequences for words or actions that you took or both, you know, because the Melaramantam is here and um, it is a card of consequences. Um, it is also somebody who's looking back at an ending, um, weighing things up, um, wanting to cling. See, both this card and this one, somebody who is clinging to hope that maybe they can save this. But in order to save it, it would require us to be honest with ourselves and our issues and this situation or even how they are affecting this situation or the situation. Acknowledging the truth um, that maybe, maybe I overreacted. Maybe it wasn't what it thought I thought it was, but why did I think that? There's a question you need to ask you or them, whoever's energy this is. Why did you have those thoughts and feelings to begin with? Because they are most likely what is hidden at the root of this problem. Now, somebody is looking back at um, most likely a series of events they're saying um, that have occurred and they're trying to get wisdom from 
what has happened uh, in order to be able to return to someone and wipe the slate clean. Okay. I feel like you are both thinking of each other, frankly. Um, we see that there was a fight. We see that there was somebody who just walked away, disappeared. Um, maybe they saw that uh, they couldn't win this fight, uh, that the other person was indeed untalkable. Somebody here has an awakening. What was hidden from them shall come to light. Um, there's a call here for this person to make amends with judgment and uh, justice, uh, which is sitting here at the heart of the reading. Seeking, somebody could be seeking answers or giving them. Um, somebody could be seeking an explanation or giving one. Um, so somebody could be explaining and the other person is weighing up the story or that person's story. This can also speak to a need to, uh, to see the whole truth. It is a card of reason and logic. Um, so somebody um, is now uh, looking at a situation with reason and logic. Um, justice is sitting side by side here. They're looking at the consequences of their actions. This is a, a learning uh, experience for this person really to get to why this occurred and be able to heal it. An apology is coming. Um, it's been a long, rough road. Um, I feel like whoever attacked had a short fuse. They had a short fuse because of the Ten of Swords. Okay, so they need to look back, which is what they're doing, to previous disappointments and um, maybe find the common thread, uh, find the root issue for that. Again, that takes us back to the moon at the, at the bottom. So I feel like it, it may not be exactly uh, the first time that this person may have attacked the other like this, accused them falsely, uh, jumped the gun. But it's like this one would have been the breaking point where the other person just gave up and walked away. But um, there's no mistake that they do love you. Um, and I feel that it will get another chance. Somebody is looking at the relationship. Um, they have... Um, they still believe strongly in the connection and uh, they're not ready to let it go. Um, there's someone else here who has something on their conscience. So that's the person who did attack. Um, so they are called to make amends. They have had or will be having this awakening. All of it leads up to a very powerful event in the future, uh, a very happy event, a coming together. It's like finally 
that's what I get. It's like finally um, achieving that that ten of cups, that fulfillment. A return to peace and harmony. There are mutual feelings of respect, love, and a, de a desire for a commitment here. Okay. There's forgiveness uh, and a, uh, a healing within a relationship. You will have... The opportunity to openly discuss your bond here in the future and how to improve it. And the lessons from the past will help you or are what is going to help you on this next leg of the journey um, and with this reconciliation that is taking place. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Um, many blessings to all of you.